So WWDC is my favorite Apple event of the year because we get the new features for Apple devices without buying new hardware. So this year I'm very excited about a few things, but the most important for me is of course iPad OS because I use my iPad every day, it is my main computer and I use it for everything except web design I guess, which is possible on iPad but still kind of limited compared to desktop. So this year we expect Apple to further improve the iPad OS to make iPad even a better computer replacement, like laptop replacement. And I have a few things on my wish list, uh, which I hope Apple will announce and add to iPad OS. It may be this year, it may be next year. Maybe some of these things will never come to iPad, but still this is something I really hope Apple will unveil tomorrow or sometime in near future. So the first thing I would like to see is a real external display support. And I know that we can kind of use it right now when we connect our iPad to the external display. And if we use apps like Photos or like LumaFusion, for example, or like iMovie, we can kind of uh, put the view viewfinder, for example, on the external display and we can control it from our iPads. But it's not what I'm talking about. I want to have an external display similar to what we have on Mac OS, where we uh, we can have, for example, uh, two full screen apps on two screens or, for example, on external display we can have like uh, two side by side apps, for example, some video and uh, Safari a web browser. And on my iPad, for example, I can have the notes app where I take the notes or maybe some like email app where I write email to somebody. So this kind of support will be great and with the mouse and trackpad support we have right now in iPad OS. I can't see any reason why this won't work. The second thing I want to see from Apple is a Pro application. It can be Final Cut Pro, it can be Logic Pro, or it can be even like Xcode, which is rumored to be included in the future versions of iPadOS. And even though we have like LumaFusion, which is a very great application, uh, having iPad uh, run the Final Cut Pro will be great for users and for developers as well, because right now, if I were a developer for Mac, for example, I would think twice before investing a lot of time and money into building something for iPadOS. A few companies did uh, develop some great applications like Serif, I think, this Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, which are really desktop class applications on iPad. So I would like for Apple to maybe announce that uh, this fall or sometime soon we will get the Final Cut Pro for iPadOS, for example. The next thing I would like to see is maybe not that big future, but it will make sense to a lot of people who are using Files app on iPad. And it is the progress bar for the transfers. You know, now then we connect the external drive to the iPad, it works perfect. But if we copy something like drag the file to our iPad, there is no real indication how much time it will take to copy this or like it is kind of grayed out and we kind of understand that it is coping but I would like to see some kind of simple somewhere on the top bar or somewhere the progress bar which will uh, show us how much time left or maybe how fast the transfer is happening. Something like that will be very helpful. Uh, the next one is calculator and weather apps and I know that we can have this widget, this uh, weather on iPad or we can download basically the weather apps from other developers from App Store. But I see no reason why Apple just don't optimize the iPhone apps and bring them to the iPad for calculator and weather apps. I think they are essential, which we all of us using time to time and they will be great to have on our iPads. The next thing I would like to see is probably not going to happen, but still will be very helpful to my workflow and it is ability to truly manage music. And uh, I guess most of the people just using the streaming services these days, like Spotify or Apple Music, but I don't use this. I prefer to purchase the music and own it forever. And I not only purchasing the music from the like uh, iTunes store, for example, like Apple Music store, but I also do that from other websites. For example, Artlist, I use it for the copyright music I uh, put on my videos here on YouTube. So when I purchase the music on Artlist or some other website and download the files on iPad, I can't add it to Apple Music, I can't rename it, I can't change some like artist or maybe album name. 
To do that, I need to use Mac. So the next thing I would like to see in iPadOS is guest mode. And I guess most of the people will talk about the multi-user support, which is also great. But for me, considering that iPad only has like 250 gigs of storage, having multiple users with all of these photos, emails and everything will be taking too much storage on this device. So what I would like to see is guest mode. I want to be able to create the temporary uh, environment for people to use iPad without messing around with my content. And finally, I would like to see the mail, calendar, contacts and even reminders app work better together. So what I would like to see is better integration and better like cooperation between the apps. For example, for my calendar events and for my task manager like reminders, I would like to be able to see at one place all of the events and tasks for the day for tomorrow, for example, so I can plan my day better. And email is the most important for me because I use email for everything. I use it to communicate with my friends because I left Facebook and Instagram long time ago. And I also use it to communicate with my customers, my students and my, like, for example, blog templates customers to provide the customer support. So I would like to see maybe some features for email and maybe some like refreshed design, which is kind of outdated at the moment. So these are the things I would like to see in iPadOS and it can be this year, it can be next year. Some of these things will probably never happen, but I would love to have them. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you in the next video.